Good afternoon, people. It's your favourite two. Well, probably your favourite one and your <laughs> me. Probably. Okay, um, we're back in a way after the Christmas break. Yeah. Had a couple of videos done in advance, which I loaded up for you. I hope all your Christmases went well, everyone. Ours went quite well here, what I remember of it. Yeah, it was all good. Um, Overtone Brewing in Port to the UK. I Beer Brothers. And this is a milk chocolate stout containing magnum hops. It's natural, unfiltered, unfine, and vegetarian friendly. Hops fade fast, drink fresh, store cold. Okay, sounds good enough. This overtime milk chocolate stout comes in a 440ml can and comes in at 6% ABV. Ooh, sounds good. God, blimey. Oh, look at the colour. <laughs> that's going, that, isn't it? It's more carbonated than it looks. It's really hard to see. Yeah, it's so yeah. dark, it's hard to see the bubbles coming up, isn't it? Well, I'll have to do the picture. Them. Right, you show me that, and you can leave that, and I'll get ready for a picture. So, here's our can, this is what we've got. Alright. Oh, yeah. Smell. Very dark in colour, lovely chocolatey coloured um, frothiness to the head there. Yep, there we go. I'll get a quick shot of it. Um, I don't think you can see, can you? Don't think you can see anything <laughs> on that, no. no. I just thought that and I'll get the phone the right way, that always helps, doesn't it? Get that horrible light out of the way. Right, there you go. There's a bit of a can you can read. All right, let's have a look. Um, the straight up milk stout has a deep and rich chocolate aroma, followed by a silky smooth, creamy malt finish. Milk sugar adds a decadent sweetness to the beer for an oval mouthful of sweet milk chocolate. Well, that sounds absolutely delightful. And this was imported to the UK by Beer Probs .co uk. So, mm. on the aroma first, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up quite a lot of chocolate smells already. <laughs> yeah, it's just chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. This, I don't know what this oh, wow, pop yeah. smells like, but maybe that's in it as well. But. Mm. Oh, yeah, it smells like them. Um, Over time, brewing are actually in Glasgow. Oh, wow. So, okay. uh -huh. If this is Beer Brothers UK range, from what I've just read here. Yeah. Well, right, after you, you've been the stout connoisseur. It smells lovely. Oh, that is absolutely divine. Thank that you. really is. Oh. UK brew, eh? Wow. What are you getting chocolate? This is beautiful. It's lovely, silky, and rich smooth. And smooth, and velvety, and it has some wonderful chocolate taste in there. Um, you're getting milk chocolate. You're getting a slight bit of that is like dark chocolate. And overall, it's like um, oh, a beautiful glass of melted chocolate smoothness. Yeah. It really is quite something. And it does got that. Creamy hint. Yeah, it, is. it has got a creamy hint to it. Um, yeah, first time trying oh. Overtone Brew, and I'll have to look them up. As I say, I thought where it come from Beer Brothers, it come from the States, but reading the back of the can, it's come from Glasgow, our friends up north. It's almost like that, uh, that really kind of Belgian rich chocolate um, made into a drink. It really is quite lovely. So smooth as well. Mm. You do get the slight hops, don't you? Which is obviously this magnum hop. 
unfiltered, unfined vegetarian again. I'm, I'm thinking the slightly bitterness that comes across this sort of like dark chocolate is from the hops. Yeah, it's probably this way mm. from the hops. I've not heard that. I didn't look up anything before we did it. But yeah, um, I'm just moving the back a bit from here. The creaminess, the sweetness, the slight bitterness, all really, really balance well together and come out with a mouthful that is just, wow, it, it really is. Um, especially if you like chocolate and you're a dessert kind of person, I absolutely love this drink. And if you're a stout kind of person. Yeah, you <laughs> have no, I have no yeah. doubt that this is a favourite among stout drinkers. Yeah, yeah, it was recommended to us, wasn't it? Although I appear to have got the wrong one, but we won't go into that <laughs> one, shall we say? Well, we've ended up with something that really is quite, quite beautiful, yeah. so. There's another one they do. Mm. Mm. It, is, it actually says silky smooth, it's only what I said, wasn't it? Oh. It's like I've taken your words there. Deep and rich chocolate aroma, yep. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'd go on that. They've given it a really good description on the can, and I'd go along with everything that they're saying on there. It really is a very lovely drink. It tends to be that a lot with the UK ones, doesn't it? It tends to be that you just read what it says on the can and think, yeah, they got that pretty right, yeah. which is the whole idea, because when mm. you read a can, it should be right, but there's only so many times that it isn't. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. And some, sometimes I put something on the can and you think, what are they on about? I didn't pick, any, pick up any of that, but then the, but this particular drink, yes, it's, it, it is everything that they say, and a little bit more, it actually is um, really quite, quite something, I really do like that. Right, so, what are we here? We're on a... I think I'll have to be on a yes because it tastes quite nice to me, although I'm not being a stout man, but yeah. it's a yes and a fair seven for me. It's a yes and an eight for me. This is a really nice drink. I do like it. Yeah, I'll drink it then. I mean, I'll, you'll get this one afterwards. That's self-explanatory. <laughs> right, okay, so one yes, seven, one yes, eight. Thanks for watching. If you got this far, um, do feel free to like, subscribe if you haven't, and comment if you've tried it. Bonjour people. Thanks for watching.